So I just wanted to go over just a few aspects of this repair for you. You may be kind of questioning a couple of things that we've done. So we'll start with the handle. So the, the actual handle of this bat originally wasn't broken, but the splice had delaminated, which means we've got a lot of movement side to side, which is usually why we had a lot of those shoulder cracks working their way down there, both sides, you could see. So we replaced the handle. You can see we um, chucked some epoxy in the shoulders as well. And then we clamped them all together. And then you can see those dowel pins there on each side. Those go just, they finish just before the start of the handle. So they're about 2.5 centimeters long. And they run through that crack and give it a bit more support and trying to, the idea is to stop that crack moving down any further. But obviously they're really strong now because we've got that epoxy here, you've got the dowel pins, and now you've got a secure handle. We then moved on to the tie, which was the other major thing, major work on. We sealed that with epoxy first, and then we also chopped about two centimeters off the bottom. We don't have to do that. That was the customer's choice for us to reduce the length. So now this is basically a, um, basically a standard handle with a shorter blade as per customer's request and then we've chucked on our new cloth epoxy toe obviously it doesn't kind of look it's quite kind of cumbersome looking but it does a great job in weatherproofing because at the moment we're in our winter periods here in new zealand so this is going to be a great option if you want to continue to play basically over the winter if you're playing on uh playing outside perhaps your nets basically the turf hardly ever, ever dries out anymore so we chuck that on. If the customer wants to you know, bring it in after the winter finishes, we can take that off and also chuck a new, basically rubber or fiber epoxy toe down, which looks a little bit cleaner. But it's a great option um, if you're playing a bit of winter cricket, especially if you've got had a lot of previous damage. Um, that covers probably most questions you may have had. If you've got any others, drop us a comment and we will be sure to answer those. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.